M0 FXP Hamtech, welcome to my learning videos on the DigiPi. Today we're going to configure the Wi Fi. We've added the image to our Raspberry Pi. You can download the image here, the link's in the description. We just need to connect the Wi Fi. We're not using Ethernet. The good thing is, DigiPi has a built in hotspot stroke Wi Fi. So if I select here and then look in my network, we're going to see one that's called DigiPi, and I'll give it a couple of minutes to boot up. When you first power it up, you can see it in the top top left there of my video. So when you click this, you're going to need to connect to it. So you click connect, and the, the pass numbers are on this page. Just here, scroll down about halfway, and the password's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. And this will be the IP that we're looking for once we've done that. So back to Wi-Fi, put that in, DigiPi, connect, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and then click next. I suppose you could just copy and paste it like this. Copy, now if you get the same error I got when you put that in, don't worry. All you do, let's get the error, is go down to where it says connect using a security key instead. Then it allows you to put the longer password in. I did get stuck on that, but we're okay now. And the, the if you look at my Pi, if you push the top button, now you're not seeing it, but if you push the top button, it does give you the IP address 10.0.0.5. So let's put that up here in one of these browsers. So we go 10, and there you are. As soon as I start to type it, look, DigiPi, it's called DigiPi, click that. And it will take us, and we are now communicating with our Raspberry Pi Zero, which is great. So we just need to quickly configure the Wi-Fi, and then we can go reconnect the internet to my computer. So all you do is select Wi-Fi here, and here, type in your home router username password, which I'm just doing now, and password. Click submit, but you also have to click reboot as well. Okay. Wi-Fi credentials are updated, now reboot, okay. And while it reboots, we're going to go back to our internet, so click here and connect to your normal internet or Ethernet, whichever one you use. As long as everything's on the same network, that's the key thing here. You'll see now it's appeared and it's actually got the new IP address, which is 192.168.0.106. I find that if I push the top button, it gives me that as well, and it should actually boot up in TNC mode because that's the default. Anyway. So now we're going to type that IP address, 192.106. And it should start talking to it with a bit of luck. There you are. We're now communicating and we can set everything up now. So first of all, press Wi-Fi. If you're curious what all of this is, these are all the programs we can use. You can turn them on and off. And underneath are the browser links. Uh, to communicate so everything works wirelessly and that's why I think this program is fantastic so click initialize here and I've made a video of this already but I'll just run through it now preset numbers here for an icon 705 um, so there is a rig list you can see here the thing I haven't found yet let me just see if I do a full page yeah still can't see that can't click anything but the thing I haven't found uh, if someone can tell me is if we go back here is the device file see this TTY ACMO where do I find that for different radios that you know I, I know I can use my 705 so otherwise call sign at the top win link password you know just create an account log into win link and put the same password here APRS same again go to get yourself an APRS call sign just Google APRS registration, you'll find it, and put that in there, your grid square. Also Google latitude, longitude, you'll get that. Um, this is node pass 
just create a password for now. I'm just going to put something random in there. Um, and um, you can enable FL rig as well for cat control. And then you can make a display bigger if you want by clicking large display. And then just click initialize. So I'll get all mine in there. Um, but this video is about showing you how to set up the Wi Fi. Yes, you can just connect an Ethernet cable. That's another way of doing it. But this is this is if you have no Ethernet cable, you've just loaded the image and you just want to get it working. You're sat in front of your PC. This that's how you do it. Seven three. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel.